So in this video, we will continue studying thermodynamics. So today's topic is thermal equilibrium. Equilibrium means if two if the one parameter is equivalent at two in two different systems, then we will say that it is in equilibrium. Systems are in equilibrium. Okay, thermal equi equilibrium means it is specifically the temperature. So it is a very important parameter in thermodynamics. So first let us understand equilibrium in mechanics and thermodynamics. So when we are, when we are studying thermodynamics, we should not confuse with uh, mechanics. So let us understand <coughs> in mechanics, equilibrium in mechanics means that the net external force on torque on a system is zero. So that is the meaning. So that mechanically, if something is stationary, it will be stationary and it will be moving, it will be moving at the same velocity in the same direction. That is the meaning in mechanics. When it comes to thermodynamics, it is different. <clears throat> A system is in an equilibrium state if the macroscopic variable that characterize the system do not change with time. So, it microscopic variable that should, that do not change with time. With time, it should not change. So, let us try to understand with an example. A gas inside a closed rigid container completely insulated from its surroundings okay, with fixed value of pressure, volume, temperature, mass and composition. All these things. Do not change with time. <clears throat> if it is uh, container is insulated and sealed, okay, with then all these parameters cannot change, correct? So that is uh, called equilibrium in thermodynamics. Let us read once again. A system is in an equilibrium state if the Macros macroscopic variables that characterize the system do not change with time. Here none of these things will change with time in this environment. Like pressure, volume, temperature, mass, composition, everything will remain safe. So this is what we are going to discuss in thermodynamics. So let us, before seeing some um, small, uh, one small experiment, uh, let us understand two new terms. First one is adiabatic wall. Okay, this is a new term. This is an insulating wall can be mobile, not a fixed one. That does not allow <coughs> flow of energy, heat from one another. Once if you put the wall, heat cannot pass from this side to that side, or that side to this side. So this is called adiabatic wall. So what is the example? This everybody we daily use. Thermos flask. And even we can say. Mm, fritz. Fritz. In fridge. Whatever we use, whatever we put inside, whatever may be the temperature, we are not feeling outside. Thermos flask also, if you put coffee or tea inside, it will be there like that. So these two systems are having adiabatic wall, thermos flask and fridge. Okay. So diathermic wall <coughs> or diathermic wall. Okay. A conducting wall that allows energy flow, heat, mainly heat, from one to another, this side to that side, that side to this side, both sides. So what is the example? A metal vessel. Okay. See, this every day we cook. Okay. See, we put um, <coughs> uh, 
gas stove. Um, we put vessels on gas stove. So the temperature we are supplying from outside, but the metal will conduct heat and the inside things are getting cooked. So any metal vessel is uh, an example of diathermic work. These two are important to understand uh, one small experiment which we will try to see now. Okay. So let me uh, do this. <coughs> and let us take system A and system B separated by uh, see this is fully sealed let us take this is system A system B this is okay mm, all right what is this adiabatic wall means System A <coughs> parameters and uh, system A is, and system B are totally insulated from each other. Correct. Okay. In that case, heat cannot flow from this way to that way. The system should stay like that only. So let us take two parameters here. Uh, PA pressure VA. Okay. Pressure and volume. Here we will take this is PB, VB. Over a period, it is not going to change. If it is fully sealed, it is not going to change. But if you measure values, okay, there is always possibility at maybe this pressure may match with this pressure, or this volume can match with this volume. That is only a possibility. Correct. As long as you keep, nothing will happen. Suppose, if you replace this <coughs> wall, this adiabatic wall, with diathermic wall, this is diathermic wall, <coughs> then what happens? Once if you replace, in spontaneously, immediately, the things will start moving from this way to this way, this way to this way. Okay. So that time what happens slowly? No, let us not. Okay, this only these two parameters P dash A, V A dash, P B dash, V B dash. So we will not think about what kind of diathermic wall. It's the, it is allowing energy to flow from this way to this way. So that time any of these phenomena, pressure and volume can vary. Okay. Uh, and what happens slowly this will try to come to <coughs> same value. Correct. So that is called equilibrium. Correct. Uh, we will not think much about what kind of wall and all those things. Okay. So here interest is Both two parameters we have taken. Both parameters need to change to uh, make this equal. It is not necessary. Okay. So, how is that? That is, we will take an example and see. To attain equilibrium, both values of the substance need not change here both values need not change for that we will take an example <clears throat> if the gases are in container of a fixed volume suppose if the volume is fixed only the pressure of the gas would change to achieve thermal equilibrium see we, we are interested in temperature so <clears throat> if volume is fixed the pressure will change to attain thermal equilibrium so both the values need not change. Only one value should change. One value also is enough. So when finally when there is no more energy flow onto another <coughs> uh, then system A is in thermal equilibrium with thermal B. 
when there is no more energy flowing one to another then system a is in thermal equilibrium with thermal uh, with the system b okay thermally it is equal both when there is no flow of energy okay so this is the meaning of uh, equilibrium and particularly thermal equilibrium okay finally in thermal equilibrium very specifically if you, if you say thermal then the temperature of the two systems are equal so we are interested only in thermal equilibrium here <clears throat> not volume pressure and other things but whatever any parameter can change but finally we are looking into equality of <coughs> uh, <clears throat> heat or temperature in thermal equilibrium the temperature of the two systems are equal this is the point need to be remembered okay so to just see how much we have understood so i prepare i have taken one um, mcq okay so the mcq is like this <clears throat> a gas is contained in a metallic cylinder filled with a piston okay assume i am not going to draw a diagram a gas is contained in a metallic cylinder it is a metallic cylinder filled with a piston the piston is suddenly moved in to compress the gas suddenly it moved and compressed the gas and is maintained at that position at this position or at that position okay so what happened there was a cylinder with a piston it is a metallic cylinder when suddenly it compressed the gas and stayed there the position remained same for some time as time passes the pressure of the gas in the cylinder what happens to the pressure of the gas in the cylinder is it increases decreases increases or decreases depending on the nature of the gas or remains constant see when you when we when the piston moves suddenly and compresses what happens pressure increases correct temperature also will increase but it cannot maintain that because it is a metallic cylinder it is diathermic valve slowly the temperature will <clears throat> let us say it dissipates correct it can go outside and surroundings it can heat in that case what happens once the temperature decreases pressure decreases okay so question need to be carefully understood before answering mcqs okay <clears throat> okay we will see a new topic in the next class